Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this Unity video we're going to be starting things off by talking about the scene and the game tabs within the Unity interface, and then in the next video we're going to be getting more into the hierarchy and things of that nature. So scene and game tab, those are your main windows for looking into your actual game and seeing how things are going to look when you finally build and publish the game. So scene mode is more where you build everything up, whereas game mode is where you would play test your game and see things exactly as they would be in the game. So right now for the game mode, we're actually looking through the main camera for the scene to get that image. But whereas in the scene mode, we can scale it to any size we want. We can even change it from the 2D perspective that I have set up back to the 3D perspective. Since Unity is primarily used for 3D games, doesn't mean you can't use 2D games. It's just uh, has all those extra capabilities for 3D games and lighting and things of that nature. Um, but while we're in the scene mode, we can also see a grid which uh, basically measures the units in Unity. So if we ever let's say moved the transform on a item which we'll talk about more later on to one unit so we change it from a five to a six you notice it jumps one space on the grid so these grids uh, measure units within your game now you also notice if you double click on an object inside of your scene view obviously you can see because there's multiple things here but you can see that you can directly select game objects from your scene view uh, and then once you have it selected you can come over to the inspector which we'll also talk more about later and edit all of its settings and you can also see it selected within the scene hierarchy over here on the left so essentially what you need to take away uh, from this is just that you build your game in the scene view um, and it allows you to see things even from a perspective that has nothing to do with your game and uh, also you can see the canvas way up here you'll notice it's massively larger even for things that you can't see on camera or don't plan on showing on camera uh, you will pretty much edit all of those within the scene view and then when you want to actually make sure that things appear in game as they're supposed to you go over to the game view um, a couple more things about the game view you can scale it up and down uh, to basically modify the screen size 1x scale is going to be uh, basically as you would see it at the resolution you set and if you want to play test a resolution you can click over here on the drop down uh, now I do currently have it set in Android mode so we're building the game for Android at the moment um, but if you are in Windows mode which is by default you may see different settings over here but the important thing to know is that you can set your resolutions here which may have a mild impact on how everything in your game looks so definitely for play testing different screen resolutions this drop down menu is going to be really helpful and you can also uh, just specify a scale ratio now because this course is going to be focused on 2d pixel art games you're not really going to need to mess around with things like shading uh, but if you ever needed to change from a fully shaded mode to a wireframe or shaded wireframe you can click up on this menu up here on the top right so by clicking on that, we can see the wiring of objects, which is a lot more useful with 3D uh, characters, of course. And we also have access to a few other modes. Alpha channel, for instance, you would be able to see uh, basically what percentage of the color of the object you're looking at is actually showing. So this, uh, basically the background image in, in this game, it's my move space, is at 100% alpha. So that's why it looks completely white. And these other areas don't have anything at all, so obviously zero color alpha there. But one more thing to show is that while you do have something selected in the scene view, you can move it around directly by left-clicking with the mouse and dragging it. But in many cases, I wouldn't actually recommend that, simply because, as you can see over here in the transform settings, you're not going to get real precision there. But if you would prefer uh, to do snapping that would be similar as to what you would experience in Photoshop, you can approximate your position, go up to the edit menu, and then snap settings, where you can set uh, basically to what interval do you want to snap to. So for instance, if we go 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1 here with the objects selected, and then we hit snap all axes. Uh, you'll see that it basically snapped to the nearest point one on both the X and Y position. 
So that's going to be it for this video. In the next one, we're going to be talking about the hierarchy, and things should make more sense as we go along. I just briefly wanted to explain some of the differences between scene and game here, uh, because these are two of the main windows, which throughout your Unity project, you're going to be looking at all the time. Uh, so yeah, it's just good to know scene and game. But next video, hierarchy. So I've been Chris. Thanks for watching, and hopefully I'll see you guys in the next one.